All right. Well, welcome everybody into our History of Aviation podcast live stream. We are doing it live with Dave Gorman and Bruce on the road to EAA Air Adventure. But first, let me give a shout out to our own David Rowe, who is on vacation this week. We wish him safe and happy travels for sure. May I now present a cultured, sophisticated man about town. Mr. Dave Gorman on the road. I'd love to, but we will try our best. I do wish, I do wish that uh, Mr. Rowe were, were in the back seat of this car with us right now. Uh, and I know he he's going to have a, a great time down in Florida. But uh, so sitting beside me with the uh, doing the driving honors is uh, our good friend of the show and fact checker extraordinaire Bruce <laughs> Kawakami. And uh, I've told Bruce not to look over at the camera. He needs to concentrate on what's out in front of him. But exactly he definitely he, he likes to live dangerously uh as do i because i'm riding in a car that he's driving but uh we've got about six hours to go uh out of our total nine or ten hours rather up to oshkosh uh this is uh trip number seven i think for us could be eight it's funny and I'm not trying to brag but you know they do tend to run together a little bit uh it's really a, a great way to spend a, a week We'll go up today. We'll, we'll be coming back next Sunday. So we'll spend eight days up there and see seven days of shows uh, when all is said and done. So it's a, it's a great time. And uh, we, we uh, stayed with a friend the first couple of times we went. Now we stay at a dorm at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. Uh, they have accommodations there that are really uh, uh, kind of Spartan but exactly what you need when you're spending most of your time outside looking at airplanes anyways. So uh, Oshkosh is a, uh, a really beautiful city and they get overrun once a year by, uh, by thousands of plain crazy people. Uh, and we're thrilled to be going back and being a part of that crowd. And we're going to be doing, uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you go I ahead. was, I was going to say, we're going to be doing live streams and uh, a podcast from, from the adventure there. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be checking in, uh, giving a daily update, and uh, we hope to hear from some of our listeners. If there are any aircraft, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, try to uh, share some lists of some of the planes that are on the field, and if there are some up-close-and-personal walk-around type things that you want us to do to uh, uh, shoot some video of and, and show some pictures of, uh, we could personalize that for you. And... Um, get some feedback from what you might want to see. There's some fantastic aircraft that are going to be there, including some that we've seen in the past that still kind of take your breath away. A E-2 spy plane is going to come in again, and a, hopefully a B-52 is going to fly over. Those things are always awesome. The uh, NASA Super Guppy, uh, which Bruce and I got to see with David back in, uh, a few years ago in St. Louis, a year and a half ago, almost in St. Louis, this time it's going to come in during the show. Uh, going to fly during the show, Bruce? I'm not sure. Uh, there are rumors it might fly, uh, arrive during the show, but it will be on uh, display on the main plaza Monday through Wednesday. So it's going to be there for a couple of days. The Super Guppy uh, transports things for NASA. It's a very unusual looking plane. One to look up. You just Google Super Guppy. And it's not going to take you to an aquarium shop, but I can, I can assure you. Uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, they're going to have an even larger cargo hauler that's going to be there. This one made by Boeing. The uh, What's it called? The Dreamlifter? Yeah. And the Dreamlifter okay. sometimes flies over Knoxville when it's on its way from uh, the Boeing plant in Seattle down to the Boeing plant in the uh, Charleston, South Carolina area. Uh, going back and forth. Occasionally, uh, as it flies over, it's at 35 or 40,000 feet. Bruce, you've managed to get some pretty good pictures of it because even at that distance, that altitude, you can tell what it is. It's a monstrous aircraft. And what do they carry when, they, when they're flying from uh, plant to plant? What do they put in this thing? Well, it's uh, parts for the uh, Dreamliner. Uh, passenger jet. So the 777? 787. 787. 787. So it's built in different locations and uh, they, so they move the parts around 
And like you said, Charleston is Boeing has the large plant there that the, they assemble the Dreamliners. So it's they're assembling the Dreamliners in Charleston, but they're bringing fuselage pieces across country that they load up in this yeah. aircraft. It's just a very nice more efficient way for them to, to build it uh, in uh, in South Carolina. So we're going to see that. That'll be the first time I've seen one on the ground. I know some of our fans have seen them up close and personal. Looking at you, Cameron. And we're excited. We hope to be able to do a live remote with uh, Cameron, who is a, uh, a great kid out of Knoxville, who loves aircraft. He and his family are going to be at their very first air venture. They're coming up, uh, I guess they'll be in Friday. They'll be at the show Saturday and then uh, heading back on Sunday. So. Uh, we'll, we'll look to hook up with them and, and get some interview from a first timer, from, from an awesome kid who's uh, 14 going on 15, who's uh, going to be having some of the best days of his year. Very uh, much so. We'll, we'll get some update from him on that. So some, some really cool stuff. Uh, none of the jet teams are performing, but it doesn't matter when it's air venture. There'll be over 10,000 aircraft on the ground. Um, big displays of uh, current and uh, former active military aircraft. There'll be uh, World War II airplanes. There'll be Korean War airplanes. There'll be Vietnamese, Vietnam War airplanes. There'll be some, uh, some big aircraft, big 29s and big 23s, uh, big 19s. <coughs> That'll be flying. So some really, really cool things. Uh, coming up that, that we can't wait to see so definitely and we'll be we'll be doing updates from there we'll let everybody know on all the social media uh what times we'll be going live for these uh remotes from uh, eaa air adventure absolutely can't wait to, to update you guys and please as we said in your comments on any of those uh platforms let us know if there's anything there that you want to see once I get a chance and get settled, I'll make some lists of some of the things that are on the field that I'll post uh, so you can know what, what what we can see, okay? Good deal. And we'll definitely keep all that updated. And you guys be safe. we Will do. We look forward to catching up with you in about 24 hours. Sounds good. And in this case, thanks for watching the History of Aviation podcast. See you guys. Absolutely. We'll see you.